For the goblet squat, Greg's gonna take the kettlebell, swing it up, holding the handle right below his chin. He's gonna reach his elbows forward just a tiny bit. He can help get his abs on, get his shoulder blades nice and stable on his back. From there, he's gonna have his feet about shoulder width apart, sitting in between his legs. He's doing a great job of pushing his feet into the floor as he stands back up. He's not getting a ton of spinal movement, so he's not really flexing at the bottom, he's not extending at the top. He's keeping that spine in a nice mid-range neutral position the whole time. If the goblet squat is too hard right now, that's totally fine. What we can do is just a normal body weight squat. So Greg's gonna reach his arms out. Again, getting his shoulder blades kind of come around his back, nice and stable on his rib cage. Now as he squats, same thing. He's not getting a ton of flexion, not getting a ton of extension, really keeping a nice mid-range position, pushing his feet into the floor as he stands up. Another regression that we can do is doing a goblet squat, but now we'll do a squat to a box. So he's doing the same thing, that nice good mid-range position. We're using the box as kind of a reference of how deep to squat. So he's just squatting down, tapping his butt on the box and standing back up. He's not really sitting down and losing tension and having to rock himself back up. He's controlling the movement the whole time. That just kind of tells him where he should be standing a back up from. A progression that we can do is a double kettlebell front squat. So Greg's gonna take both bells, swing them up. He's got his hands right below his chin, kind of in a double uppercut position. That same thing, reaches elbows forward a tiny bit, nice stable upper back, abs on. Same thing, sitting in between his legs, pushing his feet into the floor to stand up. Nice and strong. So again, we have a few different variations. Goblet squat, goblet squat two box, double kettlebell front squat, and then a body weight squat as well, if any of those are too challenging for you. And again, like we don't really care right now how deep you're squatting. We just want you to squat in a range of motion that's comfortable for you. So if your box is higher than this, that's totally perfect. If it's lower, that's also great. We just want you to do what you're capable of right now.